day today. Not really. It's chilly, foggy, uncomfortable. Let's get it. Okay. I'm going to touch on the whole NFL kneel thing. Okay. That's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to get political. Okay. First of all, I respect the American flag. I respect the national anthem. I respect our men and women in uniform. Be it the military uniform or in the blue or fire department, EMTs. I respect our military. I respect our, our public works department. I respect all that. And I respect our flag. I genuinely do not have a problem with someone in the NFL taking a knee during the national anthem. I do not see that as disrespect in any way, shape, or form. They are doing it to protest racial violence towards blacks by our police and, well, I'm sure there's other reasons for them taking a knee, but from what I understood, that's that's number one reason. Okay? Number one. If an American so chooses to take a knee during a national anthem and protest of whatever it might be, a perceived injustice, a good president would wanna would wanna reach out and ask what he can do to get them on their feet. Not ridicule them, not divide them. Not try to hurt them, but try to help them. That's what I would expect from a good president. I would not expect a good president to say, get them son of a bitches off the field. Now I understand there's some people saying, well, that's disrespect to the flag. That's disrespect to this. That's disrespect to that. And, you know, I understand there's a monotonous amount of people out there just, oh, I can't believe they're disrespecting the flag. Oh, well, you know what? Well, they're not really disrespecting the flag. If they pulled out some lighter fluid and poured it on a damn flag, well, that would be disrespect to the flag. What they're doing is protesting, and they have a loud voice. You know, all these people on Twitter that are out there just, I mean, complaining and going on and on and on, you have a voice, but it doesn't reach millions of people. These NFL players might be black, they might be millionaires, but they have a platform to speak out. Now, granted, they're not actually speaking, they're just taking a knee. Now, like I said, a good president would want to know what he can do as a president of the United States to change the situation from taking a knee to standing up. Well, that's my opinion. That's what I would expect from a good president. As an American, and I'm not a president, but as an American, when I see a fellow American protesting, I want to know why. And if there's something I can do to help, I'm gonna. If it's a worthwhile cause. These NFL players that are taking a knee against the racial injustice that they see and perceive, which I agree with, but I'm saying, you know, I'm trying to play the devil's advocate. But what they perceive as an injustice, instead of ridiculing them, ousting them, or, or trying to smear them or make them look bad, we should be asking, why are they taking a knee and what we can do to help? That's just my opinion. And you know what? This whole Donald Trump thing, with him screaming this and, and, and going on about, I mean, what, 22 tweets? He knows he controls the atmosphere of this country. He knows he controls the rhetoric, the narrative. It may, it may not go in his favor, but he knows that, you know, if a platypus was discovered in Australia that could speak English and does sign language, he's just got to make a few tweets up about something that 
it's going to cause a controversy and nobody's going to care about the damn platypus. Well, here we go. We got Russia. We got his son up on the... I mean, there's a bunch of shit going on in this world. And the son of a bitch is tweeting about the NFL. What about Puerto Rico? What about all the Americans on that island surrounded by an ocean? A really big ocean. Fucking moron. I'm sorry. That's just the biggest moronic statement i ever heard in my life from the president of the United States. I've never heard anybody say something so stupid. I mean, just inane. Just, just fucking dumb. I mean, it's like a fucking, I'm sorry, excuse my language, but it's like a fucking 12-year-old trying to explain to you where the fuck Puerto Rico is. That's the president of the United States, folks. It's an island in the middle of an ocean. We're having a hard time getting to it. We have fucking boats. We have the USS fucking Comfort, which is a ship designed to fucking help in situations like this. It, it's not even deployed yet. And, you know, water is only an obstacle if you don't have a boat. And you don't have a plane. And then water becomes an obstacle. Water shouldn't be much of an obstacle for the United States of America. I mean, we could, I'm just saying. It's, it's just a horrendous fucking embarrassment to have him as a president. And I apologize on behalf of all other Americans who agree with me. It's okay to take a knee. It's okay to take a knee. Goddamn the President of the United States. And he's not doing it because he gives a shit about the flag. He's not doing it because he's upset they're taking a knee. He's doing it to distract us and take attention away from what's really going on in his world. Which is a whole lot bigger than someone kneeling during the National Anthem. This is Jeff Nagy. I gotta go to work. Y'all have a good day. God bless America. Hooah!